The body of Airman Quinn Johnson Harris returned home to Milwaukee today. He died when the plane he was in crashed in Afghanistan. Veronica Macias live with his story. Veronica. Hey guys, now the funeral for the fallen airman will take place here on Saturday. Now, earlier today, the body of Airman Quinn Johnson Harris was brought to this funeral home after arriving at the Air National Guard's 128th refueling wing at Mitchell Airport. Rather than smiles and cheers for a returning service member, there was pain and tears. This small plane carried the body of Airman Quinn Johnson Harris. The 21-year-old Homestead High School graduate paid the ultimate sacrifice for his country. Johnson Harris died on October 2nd when the Air Force C-130 he was on crashed in Afghanistan. Ten others died in the crash, which is still under investigation. You know, when I have a low moment, I kind of chuckle, I laugh, I cry, but really I kind of think about all the great times that I did have with my brother and I just smile. While her mother was inconsolable, his sister tells us she is proud that her three brothers serve in the military. Quinn was the youngest. It is a sacrifice, and when it's such a young airman, uh, for that fact, any airman, to have one of our own hometown heroes uh, be laid to rest, uh, it's an honor for us to be here. An American flag covered the casket. Hundreds of airmen were there to give a final farewell to one of their own. They keep us safe. If it wasn't for young men, men and women like this, uh, America wouldn't be as great as it is. Now again, the procession is on Saturday. It begins at 1130 and it will include the American Legion's horse and carriage, Milwaukee Police and Sheriff Departments. Now, if you would like to participate, head over to our website, TMJ4.com, and look for that information. Reporting live from Milwaukee North Side, Veronica Macias, today's TMJ4. Nice to see the family get so much support. Veronica, thanks.